What's up everyone? Welcome, welcome to my channel. Before I get into this video, you already know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe and support, all right? So listen, I want to talk about a very disturbing video where a Houston man was murdered today and killed by another man and it was all captured on live stream on Facebook, okay? The video has already been seen by more than a million people, which shows a man being shot and killed in broad daylight in front of dozens of witnesses. The victim was allegedly shot by his baby's mother's new boyfriend. In the video, the suspect is seen walking up to his victim who is standing in the doorway of his alleged baby mama's house. After a quick back and forth, the suspect pulled out his gun and fired multiple shots into the victim's torso. As the gunshots rang out, the crowd runs, but one person remains recording, capturing the suspect leaning over the victim's body and going into his pockets, apparently robbing the victim. Victim. Conditions of the victim has not yet been confirmed, but multiple people on the scene says the victim died. At this time, no arrest has been made. So after watching, I was shocked at how he did not care about taking a life and how he was so bold to do it right in front of people with the cameras rolling. The woman in the video, you guys, is just as guilty as the person who pulled the trigger because she pointed the victim out. She came to the victim's home and she she was hyping the suspect up to do something to the victim and he did he shot him then at the end of the video she says I didn't know he was gonna do that well it's too late now okay my thing is why do people keep on incriminating themselves with these live streams okay but although I do believe her when she says at the end of the video she did not think he was gonna do that I do have to ask this man why did you not just use your fist and fight the old-fashioned way for this black man to to just walk up to him on his own free will and shoot another black man does not seem like someone who was influenced by a black woman okay because that's what everybody keeps saying they're blaming the black woman because this black man shot him don't blame the black woman this suspect okay walked up to this this man on his own and shot him at his own free will okay he was a cold-blooded killer black people are doing the work for the police in the kkk they are sitting back and laughing at the black community because we are killing each other we are our own worst enemies if you ask me this is disgusting and the children are the ones who are most affected they grow up in single parent households and in poverty because black people can't come together in unity but this is happening every day where black men are killing each other by the dozens at an alarming rate of all across America. I feel like it's because there are a lot of broken families and the new generation is continuing to repeat the cycle of going to jail, selling drugs, and being a gangbanger. I blame the black men, okay? They are impregnating women and leaving them and, and abandoning their responsibilities as a man and becoming deadbeat fathers and leaving all of the responsibilities on the mother because they know the mother is not going to leave their child okay the bottom line is when men start to be men again then our communities will become better and change people like Kevin Samuels need to stop focusing on fixing the black women and tearing black women down and fix these black men okay who are supposed to be the head of the household the king the one who's supposed to lead and provide and guide the black families okay but they are not instead black men seem to be more on the download the DL Tinkle Bells all right, and gang bangers. These young boys need to learn how to become entrepreneurs, own their own business, become a barber, have a lawn service, a pressure washing business. Email me if you need some ideas. Anything than robbing a person and selling drugs on the corner, okay? I don't know. Do something positive than going around killing your own people for nothing, okay? These people need something better to do. They need a job, okay? For all them people to be sitting around there doing nothing, fighting, causing drama, and dysfunction is terrible. Y'all need something better else to do with y'all time, okay? And I'm gonna leave my thoughts right here. You guys can leave your thoughts in the comment section and make sure you subscribe to my channel and come on back for more because I'm out. Peace.